Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of my vlog. So my name is Paul Dominic Galvez and today uh, I was able to decide and I was able to choose a topic that uh, I think is a little bit of a, for some people it might sound as if I'm bragging or something, but I believe that most of our problems tend to evolve from, you know, from previous problems. So anyhow, ang dami ko sinabi. Ang gusto ko lang sabihin dito is, ang vlog na to is about better problems. So, what does better problems mean? So, sabi nga naman din ni uh, Mark Manson sa kanyang book na The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, but don't pray for a life with no problems, but pray for a life with good problems. So, kung if you would like to know what are my current good problems are, so just keep on watching. So number one is clothing. So before, um, uh, as you may know, one thing that limits me from you know um, exploring and let's say um, venturing to a lot of uh, fashion statements is the idea of I don't have any money or resource for me to purchase them. So anyhow, so before I continue, uh, again, there's another disclaimer. So today I will be also uh, tapping into the term uh, paradox of choices. So paradox of choice is, I think, I think if I'm correct, let's just read this para sure tayo. It is a feeling of parang emptiness uh, and sabi na natin, feeling of being powerless amidst all of the options that are available at the moment. Dahil nga, right now, we are bombarded with a lot of um, choices and options. We tend to, you know, um, uh, how do you call, fantasize or at least a dream of a, a better um, gadget or better clothing or better um, wardrobe or whatever. And in the end, dahil nga sa dami ng options, we tend to become powerless and stressed. And yun nga, at the end, more sad. So anyhow, going back. So sa clothing nga is, um, before, uh, I would really love to explore a lot of, um, you know, uh, type of clothing, but now you know, as, as I would always say, I'm a minimalist, so I just resorted in buying um, four pairs of pants and then for my uh, uniform for my school because I always I, I work six days in a week, so I just bought um, uh, the black polos from Uniqlo. As you may know, it's the go to for anyone who would like to buy any comfortable. Um, and I would say affordable, I don't want to say cheap, affordable uh, clothing. So I just chose the colors black and blue. So para hindi na din mahirapan in the morning, which actually uh, snowballed into a, uh, a better habit when I go to work or before I go to work, is that I don't need to choose what kind of color or what kind of outfit I would be wearing. But, you know, nga, another thing is about better problems. I was able to resolve that, so it was okay. But sometimes I have. Um, issues when it comes to my shoes so sometimes I just want to flex my my shoes sometimes I would just go for the leather one so it's a little bit um better problems I would say from before na ano kayong susulting ko what color should I wear right now should I wear a statement shirt should I wear a designer outfit or something but now um, I was able to upgrade and you know uh, alleviate I'll have a big word or remove myself from the fact that I need to think of what I should wear sa top yung yun nga, uh, from my shirt and then my pants and then down na ngayon, ang challenge ko ngayon is to choose what I would like to wear for my shoes I was able to give away and I would say discard some of my other shoes that didn't spark joy so yeah, kasama na dun yung Balenciaga I'm really sorry, pero yeah it's a little bit of a flex but yun nga, babalik tayo that these are my current better problems hashtag if you are if you would find this boasting, me boasting and I'm very sorry you can you know exit the video but yeah, that's how better problems uh, in life uh, happen. Number two is books. So before, I, I actually, I didn't realize that I would be a bookworm or sabina natin as someone who would love to read. So uh, recently, uh, I was actually contemplating if I would buy my favorite books in this book form. So right now, as you may know, I was uh, able to share in my social media accounts that I do have a Kindle where I put the PDF or the um, Kindle form of it so I can, you know, just bring it anywhere. So, like, for example, my Kindle holds now, I think, 20 books at the moment. So, you know, it's the accessibility of the of the device that's, you know, keeping it, you know, autonomous from space or sabina na natin, I can just put it in my bag, I can just put it beside my bed, you know, and it doesn't need any light because it has a backlight. So, it's actually all good. But the thing here is sometimes I just want to have the book or the actual physical book of it. So going back to better problems, um, my issue right now is space. So I, I'm not saying that I don't have any space. It's just that you know if I put it there, it would just it would just accumulate dust, and then later on I won't be able to read it. So you know it's a, a loose situation. But seeing the cover or the spine of the 
type that makes me, you know, have this spark joy. So nakita nyo, um, it's really challenging for me to purchase uh, items right now because I need to curate it uh, carefully to whatever I should bring into my place or into my room. So yun yah, yun ang problema ko ngayon sa mga books. Next is miscellaneous items. So I use the format of Marie Kondo para at least masabi ma ko lahat ng mga bagay na mga nararanasan for my better problems. So before, um, I'm not really into skincare and as you may know, um, I really didn't care that much for my skin. Uh, before, uh, I would just go out. Hindi walang, walang sunblock, walang moisturizer, any of those. I just wash my face with regular soap and that's it. But as you know, as we age and you know, mm, you know sometimes we are being touched by an angel. And yeah, so um, recently I saw the, the effects of, you know, I'm going to a dermatologist, having a doctor. So hi, Dr. Donna, if you're watching. I know you're not watching, but I just want to say that you're my doctor. Yeah, so, you know, I would just sound as if I'm an influencer. So anyhow, so um, upon, you know, um, aging and upon trying some treatments, uh, I just realized that it really affected my skin texture, my skin my skin became tighter. So before, I just started with moisturizer. I just I just thought it's just that moisturizer. And then later on, I started to have like night creams. And then after night creams, I tried into niacinamide and then hyaluronic acid and then sunblock and then CC cream and then all of those things. We just It just snowballed into that. Next man is a food. So this is really funny because as you may know, and as my friends, close friends know, I'm a very, uh, I'm a, I'm a big eater, or I would say I like, I really love food. I, I can you know devour a cheesecake like a whole cheesecake or fried chicken. I can eat like, uh, I think eight pieces, tama nga ba? or one bucket of it. So to cut the long story short, before my problem is I would just limit my when I was starting also in. I think in Brunei, I can remember, and in Singapore, I would just limit my 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 budget for five dollars. It's really funny. I said five dollars, whatever uh, can fit in the five dollars. That's only my meal for the day. But as you may know, better problems and paradox of choices. I now tend to ask myself, so what are you craving for? So that's the next question right now. I mean, am I craving for fried chicken, or am I craving for sushi, or I'm craving for? Um, nasi lemak or whatever so as you can see there's a lot of changes uh, that happen when it comes from my previous problem from my limit now to my cravings i'm not sure what will happen next but it's just a funny evolution of it next naman is i would prefer na a la carte instead of buffet so yes it's 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 very new or it, you would you would just like what galing sayo Parang, coming from me so before, I would really love to go for some bokojin when I was in the Philippines or any samgyupsal that is, you know, unlimited. But because I'm dieting and I'm doing bodybuilding at the moment, or I think ever since, it's, it's really hard not to uh, eat a lot. I tend to, I have this feeling that I would vomit any moment, you know, and I, I don't really like that feeling. So sometimes I would prefer, you know, paying like a la carte, like uh, if ever I would spend like $20 in, in a meal, for example, uh, in sushi, for example, I would just buy like three trays of California maki or something, and then I'm full, then that's okay. Instead of like paying like $35 for an unlimited um, flow or free flow of sushi, uh, maki, or whatever, which is a little bit overwhelming, babalik na naman tayo sa paradox of choices, it makes me powerless, uh, yeah, it makes me paralyzed as well that I don't know um, what should I start and then you know ending I won't be enjoying the meal that much sorry I would be I won't be enjoying the food that much because yeah I there's a lot of choices sadly next one is when I take a bath so my friends uh, know that I'm a, a, I'm very fast when it comes to taking a bath um, I can get like I can I think finish all of my uh, cleaning at around five to ten minutes that's true so the bigger problem here, the uh, mahirap na problema right now is um, if I would just be using soap or I would scrub. Because sometimes if it's scrub, I tend to make my skin a little bit dry. But you know, it's still okay because it exfoliates. But the problem here is it takes a little bit time. So I, if I scrub, I would reach more or less 10 minutes. But if I just uh, use soap and lather my body, it's around 5 minutes. So sometimes it's uh, you know a case to case basis, um, especially if it's in like a weekend, um, early in the morning. Sometimes I don't take a bath in the morning. I take a bath the night before, just for me to um, go into work easily with no friction. 
Next is a uh, mode of transportation, whether I would take the Grab or I would take Grab or I would take the MRT. So sometimes it's a case-to-case -case basis, especially if I'm lazy um, and I'm running late. I go for grab, but re it's really funny that sometimes even though the slightest discomfort that I would feel, I would resort for grab. Grabe, did you know that before, um, riding a taxi or taking grab is a privilege for me. I mean, it's like a special thing, it's like a golden ticket. But now, because of our better problems, going back from, the, uh, from before, because I also have the means, so what I tend to do is, you know, uh, sometimes I would choose going for the grab uh, instead of, you know, taking the MRT. But most of the time, I still do my best to use the MRT or the public transport because here in Singapore, it's really efficient. Even though they would have a breakdown, you know, you would still be on time or before uh, your call time, you'll, you'll be there. So if ever you're late, it means you're just late, you're slow, um, you have a lot of excuses, so. Next better problems is wala na akong cash. What's funny here in Singapore is they are really uh, cashless. Even hawker centers have, um, you know, PayWave or Nets. You can pay anything uh, with your phone, right? I mean, it's so nice. It's so convenient. Phone or your card. So sometimes when my friends would, you know, ask me out, like, hey, let's go out. Let's eat on a, on a hawker or to uncle. Uh, well, that's what we call the people here. It's funny because I don't have cash on hand. I mean, even sometimes if I have $20 in my wallet i feel so rich but you know most of the time i don't have money uh, i don't have um cash sometimes that's why it's really hard to it's it's a case-to-case -case basis but sometimes it's a bigger it's a better problem from before i don't really have money at the time even money at the bank i don't have but now um having money in my wallet like actual money is also a challenge because most of the stores here in singapore are cashless and then last but not the least is for this uh segment is um, if ever I would be drinking soft drinks, it needs to have a zero or it needs to be sugar-free for no, no calories. It's really funny because even though it's soft drinks, it's still soft drinks. It just doesn't have the sugar on it. So yun na nga guys, there you have it. Those are my better problems. I'm really sorry if, it, if I sound a little bit boastful or ungrateful, but that is the thing. Um, what I'm trying to tell you here is sometimes we just need to pray for a life of with better problems so um because life won't you know life without problems is meaningless uh ika nga sa book ng, um, or in the school of psychology which is logotherapy we need to find meaning so you know we need to have friction somehow for us to grow and to change and sabi natin, evolve from our previous um self so you know whatever i was able to say a while ago are still problems and i'm still you know currently working them out Hopefully that I can make better problems from it. So yeah, before I end up, uh, because uh, we're here, so I just want to share as well. But this is one funny experience and better problem, and you would you know find it a boastful and a man. Is uh, I really deactivated my FB account because I'm so stressed with you know reading the feeds, you know all the stuffs happening is ha happening happening in the Philippines. So to cut the long story short, I deactivated it. Now, because I would like to have a staycation for on my birthday, so I booked. Unfortunately, once I booked in Agoda, it suddenly activated my Facebook account. So now, see, so it's really funny. Now, I was able to book the hotel. Yeah, boasting. But unfortunately, it activated my Facebook. So now, I'm back on Facebook. So see, these are the problems that are better that I would say I would prefer these problems rather than my problems from before wherein, you know, I don't even have enough money for me to, you know, to book a hotel. So, yun na nga, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, a little bit of my boasting. And uh, I hope you get inspired. Not inspired in a way to be boastful, but inspired that we just really need to evolve all of our problems into better problems right now. I, for one, I'm really grateful for what I'm having right now. What may the future lead me, I don't know. But uh, to be honest, I'm grateful for whatever I have achieved and, you know, um, decluttered as well in my so once again guys, thank you very much for watching. So I hope to see you very soon on my next video. Bye-bye!